Keith Willits, Chairman of the TM Forum. Welcome, good to see you again. And you. I spoke to Martin Kreener earlier on today, the, the President, and um, he talked about the, the, the show itself and what's been happening here. I'd like to go into a little more detail with you about the several initiatives you are either continuing with or launching at the Forum. Tell us about them, will you? Yeah, well, our heartland is obviously telecom, and the job's not done in telecom in terms of transformation of their business, reducing costs, getting to market faster. So that remains the heartland of what we do. But communication services are only part of the mix today. We're seeing a huge rise in uh, social networking, content-based services, information services of all sorts. And at the other end of the spectrum, we're seeing a huge rise in the number of devices that you can receive those services on. So our job's extending really at both ends, one towards the sources of content and the other end towards the device. And what we want to get to is the ability to be able to manage those services from the point of uh, delivery of the content originator to the point of content consumption by the user. And that's very important from a business perspective. Content owners um, want to be sure that what uh, they're putting out is being received by the customer in a quality way. Customers, of course, want to be sure that what they're paying for, whether they're paying for it directly through subscription or indirectly through advertising, uh, is being um, uh, uh, correctly received. So think of it as a, a kebab skewer through all of those players <laughs> along the way. The telecom player playing a big part in delivering those services content owners, content originators, content aggregators, and the other end of the spectrum, everything from a set-top box, a home gateway, through to a mobile device. And from what our friends at MIT tell us, we could be looking at a trillion devices out there in the next 10 years. Now, unless we've got a way of knowing uh, how to reach out to those devices, turn them on, turn them off, are they working correctly, uh, is it delivering the the video in the right format, is it being uh, correctly received and so on, we've got a problem. So two major initiatives we've launched. One is at the content end, uh, we've called it the content encounter. It's a major uh, collaboration between some big players in the industry, media companies, software companies, communications companies, on what is a common way of the telecom industry and the, communica uh, the content industry working together in the management sense. And another major uh, uh, initiative we launched is device management, a, a universal device approach, not just managing the mobile or set-top box, but a common way of managing all devices. Two big new steps for us. Coming back to the content side of it, Keith, for, for, for a moment, um, traditionally the forum has been about back office stuff, or used to be about back BSS, OSS, vitally important, but hardly the glamorous end of the industry. Mm. With the transformation to the new networks and so on and so forth, we're seeing more and more content media and entertainment people joining the forum. Cable companies being a, a good case in point, you've got a, a, an in, the increasing membership of them. How important is that to the actual makeup of the forum, and what effect is it having on it? Well, it's very interesting. Over the last few months alone, we've had 14 cable companies join uh, TMF around the world. Uh, we've, in the last few weeks, started to see media companies joining the forum. Uh, at this conference alone, there are a lot more people from non-traditional telecom sectors here. And obviously that changes the way you look at life because mm. the mix changes. Um, I'd say there's a, a, a more anarchic world outside the telecom industry. And a lot of people from, say, the media industry would not, at the moment, understand why you would need management systems. But when you talk to them about what their issues are, they're worried about all sorts of legal, contractual, commercial issues, such as what happens to my content if it's uh, being uh, streamed into a country that's legal and then happens to pass over a country that's illegal? Mm. Am I at risk of being sued? Mm. Wouldn't have thought of that issue. Mm. Uh, what happens to my content um, in terms of digital rights? What happens to my content, my brand name, if the customer's getting a poor experience? And you know companies like Disney are preoccupied with, with the user experience. So that places management requirements for ensuring the quality, the integrity, the, the security that haven't been there before um, uh, in purely the communications part. 
So I guess what's happening is we're seeing uh, the back office piece you talked about, which was in, in enabling uh, technology for telecom operators, but primarily a means of automating their business and getting their costs down. If you look outside that cloud, it's a means of enabling trading between the various points of the value chain. And it takes on a very hard-edged issue because it's got a lot of dollars attached to it and it's got a lot of lawyers attached to it. So the management work we've done, expanding out, takes on a perhaps a, a, a more important issue where the CEO is concerned about it, not just the VP of operations. What about the show itself? We're only part way through it, so we can't look back and say whether it's been a resounding success or whatever. But from what I've been hearing, as a journalist wandering around the place, it seems that uh, numbers are up, business numbers are up, and the, 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 the response I've had to everybody I've spoken to has been over, overwhelmingly positive. You seem to have hit the nail on the head this time. Yeah. What is it that's different? I mean, all right, the other ones have been equally successful. But what have you brought to the party this time that wasn't there last year? Well, I think it is that overall view of looking over the horizon. Mm. Uh, as Robin Bienfate said in her uh, uh, keynote, you know, looking at uh, ice hockey players, look at where the puck is going as opposed to where the puck is now. And I think that's a good metaphor. We're, we're looking over the horizon and saying, you know, mobile advertising is coming. Uh, content, mobile TV, uh, IPTV is coming very, very quickly. We saw an announcement from Google, from Google only this week. Major bits of the landscape are changing, not every year, but every week. Uh, and so the relevance of how do you ensure you can put services together, you can create them, deliver them, and get paid for them, whoever is doing the paying, whether it's the advertiser or the end user, how do you make all that work across this very diverse, ever reforming, mm. uh, chain is a bad word, it's, it's, a, it's more like a DNA helix. Um, and that's touching um, the, 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 the peaking the interest of not just the content world and the device world, but the telecom world in the middle knows it has to change as well. So conferences like this serve, um, I think, multiple needs. Uh, but the most important one is, where is this industry going? Where can I get an insight into that and what the implications are for my job? And I think that's the, that's the formula we've hit on here is, is enough over the horizon that bringing it back to today to keep people interested. Final question to you, we're looking forward. After this comes Nice in May again, of course. If it's, if it's May, it's got to be TMF in Nice. That's right. A very popular venue. You say looking forward over the horizon. We know in this game you can't look too far forward, but what do you expect to be the key issues by next spring? I would expect to see mobile advertising to be a mainstream agenda. Uh, uh, not just because Google has made a big announcement in mobile. Uh, it's it, as advertisers uh, looking at the prospect of three billion eyeballs uh, where you can tailor that advert down to an individual. After all, a phone company knows a lot about you. Uh, they know whether you're awake, they know who your friends are, they know who you call, um, they know where you are, and that's heaven if you're an advertiser. Now, the question is how do you monetize that? Mm. Who monetizes that? And if the, if the mobile players are smart, they'll be taking a slice of that. They need help from people in, in the middle uh, uh, that, that, that work with the advertising industry and maybe tying it to things like search that Google does so well. Um, but I think that's a big rock in the pond, and I, I, I'm certainly expecting to see a lot of discussion about that in Nice. Okay, well, we look forward to it. Keith Willich, as usual, good to see you. Thanks Thank very you very much indeed. Thank you.